In 1924, the SCP Foundation formed a covert special task force, known only to the O5 Council, codenamed the Insurgency. The leadership of the Insurgency was comprised of members of Mobile Task Force Alpha-1, the Red Right Hand, famed for their loyalty to the O5 Council and the total secrecy of their origins, identities, and operations. The Insurgency leadership was supported by research, security, and retrieval personnel, all taken from Foundation ranks. To the majority of the Foundation and the anomalous world, the Insurgency was a splinter group that went AWOL with several researchers and anomalous objects. In reality, the O5 Council had created the Insurgency to complete missions with ethically questionable methods and politically unsavory results, while keeping the Foundation's public reputation clean. For approximately 24 years, the Insurgency operated under the guise of Foundation defectors, using anomalous objects to secretly further the goals of the O5 Council. In 1948, as part of a seemingly routine staged operation, the Insurgency removed several SCP objects from Foundation containment and transported dozens of defecting Foundation researchers to various safe locations. That same day, multiple other unplanned raids of Foundation facilities occurred. The Insurgency seized SCP objects with great research and military potential and inflicted severe casualties to Foundation personnel. The Foundation's biggest lie had become a reality. Their covert Black Ops team had defected, and the Foundation faced a new threat from an organization now calling itself by a new name, the Chaos Insurgency. The O5 Council was stunned. The defection or even the slightest hint of disloyalty from Red Right Hand personnel had been unprecedented. The motives behind the Insurgency's betrayal remain unknown to the Foundation. All attempts to find, apprehend, or assassinate the defecting Insurgency operatives failed. This information is classified within the Foundation, which maintains that the Insurgency defected in 1924 and that the actual defections in 1948 were simply raged by the already existing Splinter Organization. The modern-day Chaos Insurgency bears some similarities to the organization that founded it. The Chaos Insurgency's Delta Command, shrouded in mystery, issues orders to the lower ranks. Gamma-class researchers and military commanders have oversight over the execution of the Delta Command's orders, while Beta-class personnel, while not given the same level of command as Gamma-class, carry out the Insurgency's work in the field. Alpha-class personnel, often recruited from individuals with little to no knowledge of the anomalous, accept offers of employment often because the alternative is to carry on a miserable existence outside the anomalous world. They are the grunt workers, numerous and expendable. The insurgency is split into two divisions, military and research and development. Cells within both divisions work independently, unaware of the exact actions and goals of other cells. New recruits receive instructions from their superiors, and are expected to follow them unquestioningly, not knowing that every action they take is part of a larger plan orchestrated by the Delta Command. They are told that they are carrying out a great rebellion against the anarchy of the status quo, a world where consensus reality itself is an illusion, history's great lie, perpetrated by the Foundation. They are told that they will use the anomalous to build a utopian future where humanity is master of everything, not just a mirage. But really, who knows what the Chaos Insurgency actually wants?